Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Geraldine Isuzie. The topic for today is honey and milk cleanser. Why honey and milk cleanser? I chose honey and milk cleanser because honey itself can serve as a cleanser on its own. As it helps to remove impurities and also helps fade dark discolorations and hyperpigmentations on the skin. It, because it is an antibacterial ingredient as well, it plays a role in the treatment of acne. So for someone that wants to enjoy a smooth, hydrated skin, as it is a very good humectant that would take moisture from the environment and apply it onto your skin. It draws moisture from the environment onto your skin. So if you want to enjoy, enjoy a flawless skin that is well hydrated without blemishes, then this is the cleanser you should go for. Milk on its own also has lactic acid, which makes it very good as a mild exfoliant. Milk too also helps in evening out the skin tone. But for this recipe, instead of milk powder, we're making use of either raw milk or evaporated milk whichever you can get but i love making use of peak evaporated milk whenever i have to do this recipe so let's go and see how we can prepare this awesome cleanser this is what we need for the honey and milk cleanser raw milk or evaporated milk whichever you can get milk has lactic acid that is very good for mild exfoliation which helps in fading of dark marks and also lightening of dark marks then honey as well organic honey please try not to use adulterated honey organic is the best this has antibacterial properties that helps in cleansing of the skin to fade dark marks or discolorations has um Humectant property to keep your skin hydrated even as it clears other blemishes. So we go into the preparation now. We'll be needing two parts milk. Like like I did. If you're using a tablespoon or teaspoon or whatever. You take two tablespoons or two teaspoons of the milk, then one part honey. So it will now be either one tablespoon of honey or teaspoon or whatever you use to measure. Just make it two parts milk and one part honey. Then I'm stirring thoroughly to get a homogeneous mixture. Here we have it. Well mixed. Thorough mixing so it gets in properly. So now it's ready.
So here is our honey and milk cleanser. We'll go ahead to apply it on clean skin. So. So I first apply, and I'll now use my hands to massage in. So I'll now go ahead to massage them, because it's a cleanser. You want it to get over the dirt off your skin. If you notice, I'm being gentle on the eye areas. I'll massage it in with my fingers for one full minute. I don't want it to get in my clothes, so that's why I didn't apply on my neck. But when using at home and you need to bath, it's best you also apply on your neck area. Treat your face as you treat your neck as you hold your face. Because they are like. Except you want to have a million dollar face and a one naira neck. Nobody will want that. Since they are put exposed, it's, it will be very nice if both of them look lovely, your neck and your face. So, because it's a cleanser, that's why I'm doing all this massaging to get all the dirt on my face off. You could use like this and go ahead to bath without using any cleanser or soap on your face and neck at all but if you choose to also use it's also fine whatever you choose is fine but it is a cleansing mask honey and milk cleanser using it as a cleanser same thing a soap will do it will also do if you feel your, your face is not clean enough, you can still go ahead to use a soap while bathing. It's fine. So, it's, up to, it's more than a minute. So, I'm very sure my skin is extra clean. Whenever I make use of that cleanser, I don't I use it as a cleanser, not as a mask. I don't bother using any other form of cleanser or soap. I rinse off every trace of it thoroughly from my face using warm water or lukewarm water. Then I go ahead to wash other parts of my body the way I choose to. But it is optional. If you decide to use it as a cleanser, it's fine. It will help heal dark spot reading skin fast enough. 
and also help to control a very oily facial skin but whatever you choose is fine and if you want to make use of a cleanser afterwards you after rinsing off you use a soap like you normally would rinse off before you now proceed with the other steps of your regimen i am sure you got value so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also share subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the notification bell to always get notified each time a new video is uploaded for those of you having issues with acne the acne handbook a guide to getting rid of acne did justice to how acne is formed the types of acne the causes how you can transition from an acne ridden skin to a flawless skin so to get your own copy of that book click on the links in the description of this video to get yours until i see you in my next video stay flawless